Oh, hey guys. Sorry, you caught me in the middle of having my daily apple. Well, since you've got me here, now's probably a good time for me to share a quick little story about that dreaded topic, the four-letter word, food. So I had a really good conversation with a client this morning. She's ecstatic. Her body fat's down, her weight is down. So we had a great five or six minutes just chatting about it. She was really elated, and of course that makes my day. But it's a far cry from how she felt a month ago when I think she was really focusing on all the wrong things. So today I just wanna talk about some nutrition things that you might wanna think about it instead of the norm, such as getting caught up in the uh, minutia of should I do carbs or not do carbs? Should I do paleo? Should I do keto? Should I? Uh, there's so many things out there that people get caught up in. And really, if you think about it, those are all things that sort of affect the, the physiology of, of nutrition. And today I want to talk about probably something that's more important that affects all of us is the psychology of your nutrition. So she was caught up in the mindset of, I've got to do no carbs. No carbs always works for me. I always lose weight. And while that's probably true, on the flip side of that, she says, I always gain it back. So while all of these different things work, low fat works, low carb works, no dairy works, uh, everything can work. But what's essential is what can work and be sustainable and last for the long term. So over the past month, I said, let's focus on a couple other things. Let's, let's think about how you should build your plate. So that's tip number one. Instead of uh, sitting down and having a mindless amount of carbohydrates, if you just have a small portion of carbohydrates and don't get to the point where you're always craving them and you feel like, oh my God, I haven't had a carb in two months, I'm gonna go over the edge, and then all of a sudden you're gonna eat the entire bag of cheesy poofs, certainly that's gonna destroy any um, diet aspiration. So number one, how you build your plate. Your plate should be at least half protein. So if you were to just draw a line right down the center of your plate, whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner, um, half of it should be a lean source of protein. And then if you want to have two more quadrants on the opposite side, um, it should be fresh fruits and vegetables, and then a very, very small sliver of carbohydrates, especially post-workout. That's when your body processes carbohydrates the best. Um, so that's tip number one. So tip number two is how quickly or how slowly it takes you to eat a meal. Just by slowing down, using that simple um, strategy of chewing your food, tasting your food, and going really, really slow can have an enormous impact on how quickly and how much weight you lose. It takes your brain about 20 minutes to register when you're actually full. So slowing down, um, having meals with people is super important because you're less likely to wolf down a plate of food in front of someone. They're going to look at you like you're an animal. So eating with people, chewing your food, setting down your utensil between every bite, taking a deep breath and enjoying the food can have an enormous impact on how much you actually consume. You'll definitely consume less and it's a strategy that you can use lifelong. And then the last tip is of course portion control because while any and every diet out there can work, until you learn to consume less or, uh, or otherwise exercise a whole lot more, which no one really has time to do or wants to do, until you learn to consume less, you will have a food problem. So first and foremost, dine in or take your food more often than not. I'm not saying to never eat out. Everyone enjoys a good meal um, at a fine dining establishment. So I'm not saying you should never eat out, but for the most part, Prepare your food at home and bring it with you if you're going to work or at nighttime. Be prepared so that you don't come home in a pinch and have no idea and that's just gonna make you have really bad choices. So those are just three tips. There's a lot of things that you can do that affect the mindset and, and the psychology of eating, but those are just three tips to maybe start with. My client this morning, she's ecstatic. She's like, oh my God. And it's something that she says is very doable. 
just by implementing some of those um, strategies that really affect more the mind than, than the body. Um, but if you're in need of a sit down and kind of a strategy to plan how you can eat better for the long run, um, we can meet in person or we can even meet online if you don't live in the area. But would love to help you uh, roadmap a strategy so that you have a nice, long, happy, healthy relationship with food. So you can respond to this video or always reach out to me via email or on our Facebook page. Hey, happy eating. Choose the apple and not the apple pie. Well, sometimes have the pie, but not too often. And uh, remember, fit feels good. See you soon.